Death Stranding is all about forming connections, and one of the most important ways to do that is through the game's online social features. While you won't see other players, objects you leave in your game may end up in somebody else's and vice versa. You could play Death Stranding offline, but you'd be doing yourself and other players a disservice. Here's how this critical feature works. When you first arrive in a new area, you'll be on your own. But once you connect a region to the chiral network, you'll start to see other players' structures, signs, vehicles, and lost cargo. Some of the objects you leave behind will show up in other players' games. You can build a wide variety of structures using a PCC that can help you and other players traverse the world. These include bridges, generators, ladders, climbing ropes, post boxes, and watchtowers. Bridges make it easy to cross rivers and ravines, generators recharge batteries and vehicles, ladders make it easy to climb up cliffs, while climbing ropes make it easier to climb down them. Post boxes offer a safe place to store cargo, and watchtowers let you scout ahead. There are even some structures, like roads, that require a bit of teamwork to build. As you explore, you may come across objects called auto pavers. Once you and other players have invested enough resources into an auto paver, a road will be constructed. However, structures and vehicles, both yours and other players, are not permanent. Rain will deteriorate them over time. It takes a while for structures to fall apart, so don't worry about their well-being early on. See a sign you like or a vehicle or structure that helped you out in a pinch? Well then smash that like button. All clear. Welcome. Getting likes adds to your total pool of social cash, which increases your reputation as a porter. Moving up the ranks earns you bonuses such as increased carry capacity and better posture when under stress. When you interact with someone else's structure, you form a bridge link. This means that you are more likely to see their structures in the future. If you grow an affinity for a certain person, you can even enter a strand contract with them. This means that you will see their stuff in your world even more. You can establish a strand contract by entering the bridge links menu after you've unlocked it and selecting from the list of players containing all the people you've interacted with. So that's how multiplayer works in Death Stranding. Like I said before, do not play this game offline. Not only will it be much tougher, but you'll be missing out on some of the best aspects of the game. For more Death Stranding stuff, make sure to stay tuned to GameSpot, and thank you so much for watching.